Well, it came today. I ordered this actually about almost three years ago. I supported a Kickstarter for the Mod Door and I waited and I waited and I waited for it to come. In the meantime, the pandemic happened, which slowed down production, supply chain problems, and then the company went bankrupt and I thought, that's it, I'm never getting my device. And then they came back from the dead and my device, beyond hope, finally arrived today. So let's open it. That looks like a Mod Dwarf box. I'm finally actually kind of believing that this is real. Dear Backer, I'm very happy to ship your new Mod Dwarf, a product that came to life thanks to your support. And here is the travel case for the Mod Dwarf. Oh! Cue the angelic choir music. And this is our USB cable. This is our power cable. This is our power cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they knew where they were shipping. And this is the USB key. Let's we'll see what that's for. Should we go on the website and figure out Where's the user guide, or should we just plug it in and see what happens? Let's just plug it in. I've been waiting almost three years for this thing. I'm not gonna wait another five minutes. If it's not intuitive enough to work out of the box, I'll read the instructions then. Okay, we have a power cable over here. And let's inspect this device a little bit. So these buttons feel good. They're not clicky, they're just depressing. These are click knobs. These are buttons. They feel good. This thing feels nice. Lots of interfaces in the back. Okay, we've got a two input, a stereo input. We've got MIDI in and out. This uh, Ethernet uh, thing. Here's our USB okay. input and Output? Oh, I'm guessing our key plugs into there. Headphone jack, stereo output. Yeah. Let's pull this off the screen. Yeah, it's a pretty handsome device. Mod Dwarf Founders Edition. Designed by Mod Audio in Berlin, Germany. Assembled in Germany. Mod Dwarf. Well, welcome. Will. So we are plugged directly into this amp, which has the chorus disabled, the reverb to zero, and the overdrive turned off. So it's just the clean channel with a flat EQ. And then the amp is plugged into this old Fender speaker cabinet. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen here. That's pretty cool. So that's reverb, a chorus effect, and an echo, all being processed at the same time. Let's see. just running clean. Well, so that 
sounded like a shimmer reverb. For... <laughs>
team put a lot of work into this pedal. 